Yeah, I, I was just stunned at how horrible th these kids were to you. H has this happened before? Never. I've had occasional children that have misbehaved, but nothing like Dan. Putman is Karen Klein's neighbor. She was horrified by what she saw on the video. It's disgusting. It shows total lack of respect for, for adults, for authority figures by these young men, young boys. Well, they actually started out a while ago, but I didn't write a referral for them. And then these, right. you know, and I'll, I'll tell you what I think about them now. I think they're narrow-minded monsters, to be perfectly honest with you, and I think their parents should be ashamed of them. They use so every I, dirty word I have ever heard to describe you, and you just sat there. You, you know, you, if it would have been me, I would have wanted to spank him. If it would have been me, I would have wanted to spank him. If it would have been me, I would have wanted to spank him. Good morning. Karen, I saw this video for the first time this morning, and it's one of the most upsetting and depressing things that I have seen in a very long time. The way these children treat you on that bus, and I use the word children, I, there are a lot of other things I would like to call them. And I, there are a lot of other things I would like to call them. And I, there are a lot of other things I would like to call them. Uncalled for. When I look at it, uh, they seem like monsters to me. What should happen to these kids? I've got to tell you, it's really hard to watch. I've watched it several times. I've got to tell you, it's really hard to watch. I've watched it several times. I've got to tell you, it's really hard to watch. I've watched it several times, and it doesn't get any easier. 68-year-old Karen Klein is a bus monitor in upstate New York. She's being taunted and insulted by kids 12 and 13 years old. Watch. Well, if they're this rotten at this age, just wait until they become grown-ups. <laughs> Karen, where'd you get a hippie? Perfect. Get up there! Get up there! Get up there! Father! 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 Hi, this is Jamie from Buffalo, New York, and I'm just here to tell you that it does get better. Uh, here's a little bit of my story. Um, um, December 2010, I thought I was bi, and then I always got made fun of because I virtually have no guy friends. Have any of them come forward to apologize to you? I don't. I don't know what to say. I don't, um, I want the, the boys punished. But I don't know how. Um, it made me feel really terrible. Did you know these kids by name? Did you know who they were? Um, I knew where they lived. This you, Lewis. <laughs> you think you would be able to fit one of these? <laughs> Can I see? Can I see your No, I'm going to do it. Oh, I'm going to get it. No. Oh. I'm looking at it. Huh? I'm looking at it. Oh, you're looking? What do you think caused them to do this? I really have no clue. Trying to impress each other. And I was amazed at your self restraint. The fact that you did not jump up and yell and talk back to them, that you sat there for this amount of time. How did you manage to do that? <laughs> A lot of willpower. Because I don't usually, I'm not usually that calm. Just ask my kids. Because I don't usually, I'm not usually that calm. Just ask my kids. Because I don't usually, I'm not usually that calm. Just ask my kids. So we received some statements through the police from, from two of the children who, uh, who were tormenting you. Josh wrote, quote, I'm so sorry for the way I treated you. When I saw the video, I was disgusted and could not believe that I did that. What do you make of that? Of course it's going to say anything. I mean, Josh, he always had this smirk on his face. I don't know, maybe that's the way he really looks. I mean, Josh, he always had this smirk on his face. 
I don't know, maybe that's the way he really looks. I mean, Janice, she always had this smirk on his face. I don't know, maybe that's the way he really looks. And I only have friends that are girls, and it bothered me because people would be like, faggot, fag, and they'd taunt me in the hallways, and I felt like I could never escape it. And I made a form spring, which I should have done. And people would just constantly send me hate, telling me that gay people go to hell. And um, I just want to tell you that it does get better. Because when I came out for being bi, I got so much support from my friend. And it made me feel so secure. But he always, it was like after he said something, you know, I mean, he always liked to cause trouble. I mean, what it was. Even if it wasn't picking on me, it was something else. So I just don't think I would believe anything Josh had to say. And I didn't want to talk to him today. First, they didn't believe a teacher would mistreat a student. Their son is a special needs child, and they say what he needs is help and encouragement, not what you're about to see. Don't call me special. What? Oh my God, Mark. Dude, what are you here for? What did the title on the front of that school say? Thank you. Special education. Don't call me special. What would you like to be called, Mr. Jules? No, no, no. Just don't call me special. In Sioux, New Jersey, a Bank Bridge Regional High School special needs teacher caught on camera by one of his students. Nobody gives a What do you want to happen with to these kids? I want them to um, make sure that they never do this again to anybody. Um, I would like them to be at least kept off the bus for a year. And, and be forbidden to play any sports, at least for a year. Um, somebody mentioned community service, and I thought that was a pretty good idea, too. Who says he was bullied and beaten for being gay is speaking out for the first time since this videotaped beating went public. The 15-year-old and the American Civil Liberties Union want the school district to do more to protect its students. The assault happened at Uniota High School last month. School officials are accused of not doing enough to prevent it. 10 TV's Glenn McIntyre live in the newsroom now with a one-on-one -on -one interview with the victim. Glenn. Jerry, the ACLU says this incident is more than a school discipline issue. It's accusing the district of being derelict in its duties to protect students, which they say violates state and federal law. We want to warn you, some of what you're about to see and hear could be disturbing. The video is difficult to watch. A Uniota High School freshman pummeled by a classmate while others stand by and do nothing. I don't even remember how many times he hit me. What do you want to happen with to these kids? I want them to... Um make sure that they never do this again to anybody. Um, I would like them to be at least kept off the bus for a year and, and be forbidden to play any sports, at least for a year. Um, somebody mentioned community service and I thought that was a pretty good idea too. 15-year-old Julio Artu says nearly every day his teacher bullied him right in front of his classmates. It's horrible. But he says no one believed him, not even his family. So he captured the teacher on his cell phone to show his parents. Don't call me special. All right, what's going to happen? I'm just telling him, don't call me don't, special. I'll, I'll, I'll say whatever I want to say. Okay. You don't like me? Oh, well. Southwest Airlines reached out to us today. They've been extraordinarily touched by your story. They wanted us to let you know that they'd like to send you and nine people to Disneyland in California for three nights, airfare, hotel, uh, and car all included. you got to be kidding me. That's awesome. Nine people? <laughs> Do you have nine people you'd want to bring? Yes. My family. Minus a couple. <laughs> nine people? <laughs> Do you have nine people you'd want to bring? Yes. My family. Minus a couple. <laughs> I was appalled. 
uh, by what was going on. Um, I don't appreciate my son being called out of school. Uh, yeah, it's cool. You you're going to be called special now. You know what? I would kick your ass and get you to calm until I'm eight years old. Don't say. What are you going to do? What are you going to do? Go get a job or a jockey? Uh, like, I'm scared. You said, well, if you get out of school, you're going to do something. What are you going to do? I didn't. What are you going to do? You didn't say that. You didn't say when you get out of school, you're going to do something. I didn't know. I said, when I get out of this school, what you going to say then? What? When I get out of this school, when you get out of this school, I'll be right there. You tell me where you are, and I'll call you. I said, when I get out of this school, there ain't going to be anything you're going to do. There ain't going to be nothing you're going to do. There ain't going to be nothing you're going to ever, 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 ever do. I can tell you that we were able to identify all the four, all four individuals involved, and we have spoken to all four individuals and their families. How does it make you feel, though, inside? I mean, do you feel bad about yourself or? It makes me feel like I'm trash. You ain't gonna do a thing. So we showed the video to attorney David Arnold, who specializes in representing special needs students. Well, that's truly disappointing. Arnold says the teacher is sending the wrong message to his students. The only thing that this child is learning at this point is that, you know, violent behavior is the answer. I went to the teacher's home for comment. I saw a man walk past the door and heard him talking as though he was on the phone. But no one answered the door. Harry Harrison over at Channel 10. Could you give us a call, please? And no one returned my calls to the home. 15-year-old Zach is the student who was beaten. Based on a comment his attacker posted on Facebook the night before, Zach believes he was beaten because he is gay. A comment on Facebook on a picture. What was that? Check out the definition of a fag. He says he's been a target of bullies for years. Why do you talk like a girl? Why do you walk like that? You're so weird. But this year, he says, the taunts turned increasingly violent. And I got hit in the face a couple times. I tried to ignore it like three times. Zach and his mother say their repeated complaints to school administrators fell on deaf ears. He basically said there's a few gay kids in school and you're the only ones I have problems with. So what can you do to like tone your stuff down and like not draw all the attention to you. And I'm like, wait a minute. I was like, you want my son to change, but you don't want this bully to change. His mother reported this to school officials. Zach reported it to school officials. Nothing was done. Today, the ACLU of Ohio announced it is representing Zach in possible legal action against the district. Um, they should have been tied to respect their elders. I mean, who it is. The school district should have protected Zach, and they failed. While he doesn't understand the hostility. Why don't people like me at that school? That, like, I'm nice. I'll, I'm not trying to brag on myself, but I'm nice. I try to talk to everybody. He and his mother say they will no longer turn the other cheek. I won't be silenced. It's just not an option right now. Now, the student who attacked Zach was punished, although for privacy reasons, school officials say they can't tell us what that discipline was. The Ross County Sheriff has also charged that student with assault. Tonight, district officials say because of the potential for legal action, they are not able to comment. West Virginia. A Pasco teacher is accused of making her students wear a dog collar. And as you can imagine, the school board wants this teacher fired. Now, in the recommendation for termination from the superintendent to the teacher, she said, quote, the collar was used to punish or embarrass students. It was called the cone of shame. And she told the teacher, your actions show extremely poor judgment. Now, this all happened back on April 10th and 11th at Zephyr Hills High School. That's on 12th Street, just off of County Road 54. 10 News reporter Melanie Michael joins us live from the school. And Mel, I'm sure there are some angry parents about this. And it just it's so, so much support for me. Yeah. So just listen here. It gets better. And look at me. I'm doing fine. I went to the monster ball, and now I'm liberated. So... It gets better. This teacher has not made any statements tonight, but many others are actually speaking out about it and fired up. They are images sparking outrage and controversy. Students with dog collars around their necks. What do you think? Do you see this as a harmless joke or an act of humiliation? I, I was disgusted, very disgusted. Because, like I said, I mean, that's... That's a human. That's not an animal. You're not spaying or neutering that person.